Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to Future Forward Hub podcast with moi, Sashka Regina. Coming to you live all the way from Austria in this very special time of the pandemic. Now, it's not to be fooled around with. A lot of people have lost families, jobs, comfort, security, friends. Been a rough time, and I can't say that I'm excluded out of that. But what I have learned is something that I want to hop on and quickly speak about is the empty space of the unknown. During this time of the pandemic, and I'm extremely grateful because I live up on the mountains, I'm not in a city, I don't have to stay in an apartment block. I have had incredible blessings that I can go for a walk outside. And during this time where I go for very, very long walks, I would listen to some really good audiobooks. And this time has been exceptional. I've really had time to slow down, really had time to slow down so that I could speed up again. Fucking hell, I'm speeding up, people. I'm speeding up. I'm just waiting for that bump. So I can kind of like fall over. But I'd love to speak to you very quickly about this thing called the unknown and why I'm so in love with the space of the unknown. When we wake up every single morning, we wake up in the past. Now, why do we wake up in the past and not, hang on a minute, Sashka, didn't I just wake up like today? So it's like today is a new day, which is like the present. So it's not the past and it's not the future. Like how can you be screwing with my mind right now? Let me explain. When we wake up in the past, we're waking up with the same thoughts, the same feelings, the same patterns, the same behaviors that we had yesterday. So we wake up in the past. We think about the future. We dream about the future. But the energy of the future and the energy of the past and the present aren't matching up with one another. So the best space to be is in the space of the unknown. And every time I say this unknown, I keep thinking of the Frozen song. Into the unknown, into the unknown. <laughs> Stop singing a Disney song here right now. But every time I think of it, the unknown is where the space is where you surrender, not give up, but let go. You surrender to creative possibilities. You surrender to creative possibilities. So in that space, that empty space of the unknown, where there's no thoughts, there's no feelings, there's no behaviors, there's no patterns that you carry with you from the past that you want to be in the present and desire for the future, you leave space, you surrender to creative possibilities. So that means when I'm thinking of myself in the future and I'm envisioning a desire that I want, in the present it means that I lack it. But when my energy and I bring my energy up to the state, the vibration, the frequency, to a level of joy, gratefulness, where I'm not focusing on the behaviors or the patterns or the past, but on the possibility that can happen. And I surrender to that, to whatever will happen for my highest good, I let go. And I don't feel the pressure of controlling. Damn, that's just a freaking free. But somehow, I now freaking love living in the unknown. Into the unknown. I love the space. I'm loving my challenges. If you had to know what shitstorm is happening around me, you just think I'm probably on drugs or something, or on some happy pulls, or it's impossible to be this state of happiness, gratefulness, joy when so much shit is happening around me. But that is the choice that I've made is that my energy needs to match that of the future. I need to pull that energy towards me. If I'm like a battery, you know when you have two batteries and you put the positive with the minus, it repels it. And if I bring them together and they're both positive, then they're going to be pulled towards one another. So my energy needs to be on the same vibration and frequency of that energy in the future 
in order to bring the two together. But if I'm still stuck in the past, waking up in the past, I will never get there. And it's the best feeling to surrender to creative possibilities, surrender to the unknown. Okay, now it's your turn. Into the unknown. (laughs) So I wanted to share that with you, to practice just to yourself, even if you just say it to yourself. I surrender to creative possibilities. I surrender to creative possibilities. I surrender to creative possibilities. And you start realizing that there are major possibilities for you out there in the world, the universe. And to bring your vibration to that level of, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't actually care because whatever happens is for my highest good because I know that I can handle it. I know that I can manage it. I don't know how and I don't know when, but you know what? What I want in the future, I'm going to pull that energy to me now and I'm going to live and be that now. Like Einstein says, you know, I don't know exactly the saying, but pretty much along the lines is that if you want something new, you can't do what you've always been doing. Same thing, waking up in the past. So I want to challenge you today to think about this and maybe the seeds planted and to be open to new ideas, new possibilities that get dropped into your lap with that exciting energy that's surrendering to creative possibilities. And let me know. Let me know how it goes for you. Come and share with me on social media, on Instagram or LinkedIn. Let me know how you feel about that or drop me a line either via email at podcast at futureforwardhub.com and let me know how it's going with you, how they kind of settled in with you. Yeah, I know for me, I'm a fucking lie. And if I hit the speed bump, I'm going to be flying, baby, flying. So yes, wishing you an awesome day. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll speak to you soon in the next episode of Future Forward Hub Podcast. Take care, game changer. Love you lots. Bye. Yoo-hoo. Thank you for listening to this episode. You know, if you really enjoyed this podcast, why don't you subscribe? Hop on over to futureforwardhub.com and sign up for the newsletter. I would love to keep in contact with you about new episode releases and, of course, the live Future Forward Hub events. And, by the way, if you have a burning topic that you want to converse about, apply on futureforwardhub.com slash podcast scroll to the bottom of the page and apply to be on the podcast. And you know what would be really appreciative? Subscribing on your favorite listening platform and leaving us a review. Let us know how we are doing. This means the world to us. And until the next episode, thank you for being a part of the community. I love you.